Welcome back. We are back with Dr. Ramji and Professor Becker talking about the important issues around HIV and AIDS. Remember, you can give us a call 0839133728. Dr. Gita, I want to start off with you. I mean, in your opinion, what should everyday South Africans keep in mind when it comes to dealing with maybe someone that, that is HIV positive, um, you know, so as to really be able to support them and pay forward that message? I think, first of all, they need to not go back to how they acquired the HIV. And I think people start thinking promiscuity and all those issues around HIV transmission. So people need to take it, the person is HIV positive, not how they got the HIV, mm. and then deal with it at that point in time. So I think that if we t start looking at HIV as an as a, 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 a infection mm. rather than acquisition from somewhere, that will be a way forward to accepting that the person is uh, infected yeah. with HIV. We don't do that with diabetes. We don't do that with any other disease. So we need to normalize HIV in such a way that we accept it yeah. and then take it from there to, to seek help, mm. to uh, understand what is needed, out, what is there out there for HIV positive individuals. And in terms of HIV negative also, let them know what's really out there. Mm. You know, there's a toolbox of prevention options that we currently have in mm. South Africa and people need to be aware about mm. it. But when a person is HIV positive, you need to accept it rather than accuse a person of uh, wrong behavior yeah. and, and take it from there. That's it. And this is, brings it back to the issue why it is so important to be talking about this, you know, exactly. get the right information out there. Let's take another caller quickly. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, thank you. Who am I talking to? You're speaking to Nam Zulu. Good morning, my dear. What is your question or comment? No, I have a comment. I've been living with HIV and AIDS for 10 years now, and I'm healthy, and I'm glad that now they use this cure. That is like it's only taking one pill, you're not taking like too many. Because last time it was just was so embarrassing taking too many. And people are ignorant. They don't want to take the medication. Mm. They just want to take the medication when they are sick. Yeah. I just wish everyone would just accept it. The minute I know my status, I just like, okay, I've got like flu, but mm. this flu is staying inside. I have to take care of myself. That's what I did. And I wish everyone, like young people, especially young people my age, they would just take the cure. Thank you. Safe. I'm living with it for 10 years. That, mm. That's amazing. Thank you very much for your comment. Mm. Really appreciate yeah. it. And it really comes back to, you know what, paying it forward, educating those around you as well. How much progress has been made um, with regards to the severity of HIV and AIDS, Dr. Linda? I mean, we've, we've, we've been talking for about, for, uh, about it for a long while now. Well, you know, I think this is, yeah. listening to these, um, these two uh, callers, it, 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 there's an important fact there. The first is we have treatment, and, and the treatment is actually really easy to take. It's one pill a day. I mean, yeah. you know, and there are not too many diseases today that you can take one exactly. pill a day. Very important. What we've learned in the last year or two is that people should not wait. They should get to their antiretroviral programs and get themselves onto treatment as soon as possible. Evidence has shown us that there is great benefit in getting the virus under control. And the only way we can do that in somebody's body is get them onto anti-HIV medication yeah. called antiretrovirals. They need to take it every day. Um, and unfortunately, it is for the rest of their lives. So although yeah. the last um, caller mentioned a cure, we're not actually there yet. Yeah. It is, it's keeping the virus under control by taking the pill every day. It's about managing it. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you can just remember to take that pill every day, again, what our evidence is showing is that people are actually living longer than people who don't have HIV. And the reason is because they're going every few months to see their doctor or their mm. nurse. And so they're getting very good care and other problems are being picked up. So we're actually finding that, you know, we, we, we're doing better yeah. in, in the HIV. And, and so to Gita's point, we need to normalize this problem yeah. because actually life does go back to normal. Yeah. And people can, you know, have very fruitful lives. Um, we can actually talk about having children, getting married, you know, doing everything yeah. that they want to do in their normal lives. And we need to be openly able to talk about this. Gita, just uh, lastly, I mean, what are some of the trials currently happening in South Africa um, and also maybe around the world? Well, there are numerous hundreds yeah. of trials around the world, but I can focus on South Africa. Okay. Uh, in terms of HIV prevention, we're doing focusing a lot on young people, adolescents and young girls, because all our trials have shown, especially in KwaZulu-Natal, that we have an incidence rate of between 5 and 
that's very, very high. And you don't even get that in a sex worker population outside South mm. Africa. So we are focusing a lot on HIV prevention among young women and looking at different uh, biomedical interventions such as uh, intravaginal ring. We'll be testing a, a new HIV vaccine uh, that was launched mm. yesterday. We're looking at uh, the role of uh, contraception, the Depo-Provera and mm. HIV acquisition because observation studies have shown that Depo-Provera may increase the risk of HIV. Okay. We are now looking at new protocols that looking at new biomedical in in intervention where there's a, a injection rather than a pill or a, yeah. a ring or something that could prevent HIV infection. So those are new trials that are ongoing. So in terms of prevention, which is my area of research, there's a lot going on. We're doing mm. the first time, for the first time, we're doing an open label trial of a ring. That means that it's on its way to licensure, but we need to collect more data. Okay. So that's what we're doing. But in terms of treatment and uh, treatment, HIV and TB co-infections, there are numerous trials ongoing. Yeah. And I think South Africa is in the forefront of the research that is happening globally. And we have the expertise, we have the infrastructure. Unfortunately, we also have the population at yeah. risk of HIV. That's it. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Now stick with us here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show because you'll have the very rare opportunity to ask our panel of experts your questions surrounding HIV and AIDS. Give us a call 083 91